Exploring Ontario steelhead opportunities need not be expensive. On this trip, I rented a nice, comfortable room at the Best Western in Walkerton. I also hired a guide. The guide I hired is Grindstone Outfitter owner and head guide John Falk. John has guided on this river for decades and is one of the most knowledgeable fly fishers in the business. Watch as John shows us the swinging technique we're going to be using on this trip. When you're swinging a fly, you basically need to read the water. You want to look at the river and look at the water so that you're picking out the deeper sections of the pool that you want to fish. There will be troughs down the middle, but that water is definitely going to have a darker coloration to it. So it tells you where you're going to swing, but the next thing that you want to do is you want to kind of adjust your swing to make sure that you're covering the water appropriately. The easiest way to do it is to make that forward cast, put a mend in your line, let it swing through. But we can add to the mending by the size of the mend for introducing more slack so the current will push the sink tip down a little bit deeper. So basically what we're doing is we're looking at the depth of the pool. This is the dark water. So it, this is a nice slow pool. We're going to put in a cast, a nice slow easy swing. The water speed will tell you how fast you need to work and then allow yourself just to swing it down through. If we want to get the fly deeper into this pool, we're actually going to add a little more slack on our mend. So we're going to cast across the pool and then we're going to put a bigger mend in, maybe two, that's going to give us more depth. Take the rod forward quickly and then pull back slightly. I now have the fly very, very deep and it's actually covering the bottom. Strip it back, way back, way back here, way too, too far, right there. Just strip that slowly into the boat, like you're fishing it, and then pick it up and cast it again so it swings. Oh, fish on. There you go. Good fish stuff. Fish on, yeah. Good stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good leaping fish. Way to go, Bill. Yeah. It followed it. It was right in front of that rock and it followed it. And he's just about into my backing. That's all right. Just play him out in the pool. You're good. Yep. Okay, Bill, just lock in. I'm going to hop out of the boat. Okay. Okay, Bill, you be ready because this fish is probably going to take off when I go to net it, okay? So you be ready for that with a loose yep. drag, okay? Just like that. That's exactly what we were talking That's about. That's nice silver fish. He doesn't like your cologne. No. <laughs> Beautiful fish. It's a nice female. Yeah, it's a hen. Yeah. Outstanding, John. Outstanding. Well done, Bill. <laughs> well done. There's always the question of the net. Right. Why do you use a net? Right. Right. And you, it's very apparent to you right now. I got out of the boat. The fish comes around. Put it in the net. The best thing you could do is never lift a fish out of the water in the net. Right. We're catch and release. This is a soft mesh bag. It's right. not going to harm them. Right. But we're not fumbling fish, dropping them, pulling them up on That's rocks, right. doing yeah. anything like that. This fish is very well looked after right, right. now. Okay. So we have absolute control. Good. Okay. Yeah. All right, Bill. Ready done. There you go. Beautiful silver steelhead. Good. Okay. Now we got our photos. Haven't hurt the fish at all. Not at all. Not at all. Very gentle. Look at how silver that fish is. Oh my goodness. Trailing the fish. And there she goes. And away we go. More steelhead action when we return.